So this was something that I was going to cover yesterday, but I had a feeling that the full story hadn't hadn't developed yet, so I refrained from uh, I refrained from doing so. So yesterday there was a bit of a kerfuffle because to celebrate Pride Month, the Daily Wire was going to post Matt Walsh's genocidal uh, faux documentary, uh, "What Is a Woman." They were going to post the entire thing on um, on Twitter, and they attempted to do so and were met with a number of uh, TOS flaggings, marked as hate speech, not able to retweet, that kind of stuff. And there was this period of time during which a lot of left-leaning people were gloating, uh, where Elon seemed to be kind of like, because of course they're like, Elon, 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 like, because of course, like, obviously they know he'll listen. And he did, he showed up and he was like, uh, 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 okay, so uh, we'll, we'll see if we can, like, make an exception, we'll, like, carve it out. And it looked pretty pathetic, but eventually, uh, and now this is the state things are in currently, uh, they did remove the TOS block. And what's more, Elon Musk, owner of the site, one of the largest accounts on the site, has just pinned a link to it. So the the single largest platform on Twitter is now the What is a Woman documentary. Elon, Twitter should be politically neutral, Musk after not only endorsing DeSantis, but also like running his campaign announcement on Twitter is, is now hosting this. Now, obviously, there is a reason things played out this way. And as bad as it is that it's getting this kind of reach, the underlying reasoning is still very funny. It's extremely funny. So as you all know, Twitter is bleeding money right now. Latest evaluation has it worth one third what it was when Elon Musk bought it. I mean, it is it is just um, plummeting in in the uh, in its value, and likewise, ad revenue is down massively. So everything is getting worse now. One of the reasons ad revenue is down is because advertiser confidence in the site has flagged significantly. This is the reason, or at least this is one of the big reasons, why Elon Musk recently announced the appointment of a new CEO for Twitter. You know, people don't want to advertise on a site where a far-right wannabe demagogue is awkwardly responding to every neo-Nazi in his feed, uh, agreeing with everything they say and believe. Now, hold on. As a result of Elon's behavior, Twitter's head of trust and safety has resigned. That's right, the head of the department whose job it is to preserve ad friendliness has resigned. Apparently what happened, now, I want to be clear, I don't know this for sure, but I think this is pretty obvious from what we know, okay? Matt Walsh's documentary is undeniably hate speech. There's no getting around that. And the head of trust and safety overseeing this made sure that it was flagged accordingly. Elon Musk sees the complaints on Twitter. He sees all of his favorite Nazis getting upset at him. Now, Elon knows he has no personality and is generally unlikable, and the only way he can maintain the support of the far right, which he craves, is by constantly doing everything they ask. This, th there can't be like an ongoing trust here. He needs to constantly cater. So, uh, Elon gets in an argument with Twitter's head of trust and safety. I think this might have gone on for a while, because there was a long period of time, multiple hours, during which Elon was saying publicly, hey, we're going to get this removed, we're going to get this fixed, while it remained TOS cucked. Which makes me think that during this time, he'll like tweet out like in response to, you know, like Western Civ Lover 1488, like, yeah, we'll get it up soon. And then he goes over and talks to the head of trust and safety. He's like, what? Get that free. And then she's like, no, you idiot. We promised the ads. We have to do... No, you can't do this. And then they back and forth. But, you know, Elon owns the company. So, hey, head of trust and safety resigns. Again, I want to make it clear. I don't consider this some kind of gigantic victory for the left or whatever. I really do think it's pretty bad that... Um, oh, keep in mind, these are not video views. These are tweet views. Video views are significantly lower uh, than, than, than tweet views are. We don't know how many video views. And also a video view could be they watched one second of it. I don't know. Just, just, just keep that in mind. This is not like a YouTube video with 81 million views. Not even remotely. Not even close to remotely. 
It's getting a lot of attention, to be sure. As a product of Elon Musk's blatant partisanship, I imagine a lot of the attention that it's getting is from people who already had watched it, or at least agreed with the message they know the documentary contains. So I don't think it's like devastating. I don't think it's great. Whatever. I do find it enormously funny that this fits now into like a, uh, you know, a broader narrative, a broader story of Elon making the site less profitable. Oh, okay. I just, I guess this is just a confirmation. Twitter head of trust and safety Ella Irwin resigned last night after Musk overruled and publicly rebuked her decision to remove video post by Daily Wire's Matt Walsh entitled What is a Woman? Brand safety manager My Aid also resigned as Musk continues to platform hate. The brand safety manager too? Bro, how do you think it looks for advertisers who want to do ad buys for Twitter that stuff like this keeps happening? Not just head of trust and safety, but the literal brand safety manager. And they didn't just have the video on TOS cucked. Elon Musk insisted on pinning it to the top of his profile. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. 200 IQ Elon Musk. Well, he can afford a monetary loss. Most of his money is in Tesla, not in Twitter. But it is, it is just extraordinary how, how effectively he's running this into the ground. I mean, can you imagine? Like... This so Matt Walsh is a Nazi. This is a Nazi video. Can you imagine? This is the one of the wealthiest people in the world, and his the the way he handles this is by publicly arguing with the people who he appointed to make this platform safe for profitability before getting them fired or at least forcing them to quit effectively and pinning a Nazi video to his profile. And he's doing this simply because he is obsessed with the adoration and positive attention and affection and praise from the far right. It's such man-child behavior. It is truly insane. This is literally the best example of a single man disproving great man theory I've ever seen. Yeah, more like, I think Forrest Gump theory would be a better one. Not where some people are so great and mighty and smart and powerful that they change history, but more like some people just stumble their way through like incidents and importance over and over and over again. Incredible stuff. He also hates his daughter. Well, his daughter hates him, at least. The daughter who changed her last name because she doesn't want anything to do with him. Yes. And then he was like, she left me because of woke media. How long until Twitter starts to show porn ads? I really do, I really do think that, like, over time, it's just going to be like, you're going to see, like, the Black Rifle coffee ads or whatever. Like, it's all just going to be, like... And it's going to make no money for the site, right? Because, like, conservative companies don't have anywhere near as much money as, you know, companies. It, so it's it's just, yeah. It's all going to be the kind of shit you see on Infowars. Exactly. Won't this make the EU Twitter ban easier? Oh, f I completely forgot about that, bro. Holy shit. Twitter's going to be banned in the EU. It's over. There's no f way. I completely forgot about that. There's no f way. Head of brand safety and trust in safety resigning over him pinning a Nazi video to his... No, 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 no. All right. It's f***ing Jover, bro. Oh, man, all the EU cucks aren't going to be able to see my cool tweets, like where I horny post at 2.30 a.m. and then delete it immediately after. Musk was in China for the past three days. Too. Well, Musk loves China because it's full of, like, half-slaves that he can work to death. It has few worker productions. Like, that's the thing he likes about it. Why did all of you say baguette in the grass? Why, how did, why did you all do that? Why did four people say baguette in the grass at the same exact time? I'm just going to ban the initial four people. This is clearly some kind of virus. You're all getting banned. Ban them, do it. <laughs> I don't understand. It's the CIA activation phrase. Some someone in chat just like bolted up from their computer and walked out the door with a nine millimeter uh, tucked into their uh, 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 pocket. Hopefully they're not coming for me.